Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, November 9th, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored today by Moark Eggs. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting that the U.S. Department of Agriculture cut its forecast for U.S. corn production to 12.31 billion bushels, down 1% from the October forecast and down 1% from 2010. For this and more from the center of the plate, head to foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. In the egg market, movement at the retail level is reportedly fairly good to good. Supplies of jumbos are long, while extra large and large are adequate for current needs. And mediums are mixed. The market is steady and likely unchanged. Further processors are attempting to purchase heavy breaking eggs below our stated ranges. However, few transactions are noted. Liquid whole egg is trading lower. Looking at poultry, our early morning canvas of the chicken market is uncovering limited levels of availability for the majority of our listed lines. Wogs and whole birds are being shown some additional interest, with offerings being adequate at most. Tenders and boneless are in a similar position. Wings are considerably tight, with all sizes being sought after and subsequently held with confidence. Dark meat continues to lag a bit in comparison. However, the leg meat and thigh meat that was being shown earlier in the week has cleaned up a bit, but this is not universal. The remainder of the complex is considered balanced. Now with an inside look at Erner Berry's turkey letter, here's Russ Barton. For the most part, the past several days' worth of business patterns and market input for turkey reflected what most would say was typical for early November. Written orders are light as players on both the buy and sell side assess the situation. The latest cold storage estimate is calculated at just under 354 million pounds, about 74 million down from last week as freezers continue to be emptied for Thanksgiving needs. Our chart reviews the situation of both fresh and frozen drums over the past few years. Observers of the turkey industry know that this year has been one for the record and drums were no exception. In fact, right now, the traditional Ernerberry quotations, as well as those populating our export table, are at all-time highs. But the end may be in sight for these items. Shipments to China have declined as of late, and many believe that without their purchasing power, drum values will be able to sustain the levels currently being quoted. When coupled with what could very well be tougher and more costly food safety regulations, some poultry companies are looking closely at their long-term feasibility of their ground turkey operations. I'm Russ Barton with this week's Turkey Letter. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Russ. Moving over to red meats in the box beef market. Light to moderate trade this week on light demand is setting the tone for today's market. Inventory remains ample for lower grade product, but packers remain firm on price levels due to the high cost of raw materials. Choice items are mostly firm, particularly middle meats. And cut markets continue to be about steady, with some trades occurring at the lower end of established ranges. Grinds are firmer this morning, largely on the strength in the trimmings markets. In the boneless beef market, fresh 90s have already traded in light volume at mostly steady price levels. Buying interest is reportedly still active, and packers continue to tweak asking prices for the fresh 50s higher as supplies are reportedly still manageable. Trading activity throughout the imported beef market has been limited to this point. Undertones varied from source to source, and our listings are unchanged so far this morning. Looking at pork, the green meat complex may continue to see pressure from high production levels today. Hams and bellies have shown weakness in response to increased availability and remain susceptible to supply changes. Trimmings are called steady with expected trade occurring within a range. Availability of fresh pork products is still fairly widespread, however quantities offered varies by seller. Loins and butts are still the items of chief concern and carry barely steady to weak ratings. Spare ribs continue to find support from frozen orders. That wraps up Erner Berry's market report brought to you today by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.